The great thing about Stacy is that I think she's just scratching the surface with her generosity. So her commitment to making the world a better place and helping people any way she can is a true passion. Well, she always has a smile. She always has positive energy. She's always focused on the goal, which is a great experience for the guests at our event, but also knowing that we're there to secure resources to support Fernside. So um, she really is motivational, whether it's hitting that goal or, or literally the night of the event, you know, more than one occasion at events, you know, she'll grab you and say, next year we're gonna do this. And you just kind of go, you're absolutely right. Uh, and we will, <laughs> because that's just who she is. For those of you who don't know about Fernside's mission, and Fernside provides grief support to children who've lost a loved one. Uh, and in Stacy's case, as a 10-year-old child, she lost her mother. Uh, and that is a powerful experience. And in this country, childhood grief is something that is often swept under the rug and minimized. And that's really the beauty of Fernside, to really work with young people and help them understand that grief, express that grief, and be able to move on. And I think Stacy said it best uh, in an interview that she did for the Cincinnati Enquirer back in 2010 when she was featured as a volunteer and an alum of Fernside. And she said, life changes after a death, but your life is not over. For Fernside, I wear quite a few hats. Um, I, first and foremost, I'm a co-facilitator on Parent Loss Night, um, and I've been doing that since, uh, essentially since I graduated high school. Giving back to Fernside is uh, very important for me because of how much I got back from them. I know how these kids feel, and it's hard and they need help and they need somebody to guide them and I got that help and I was guided through my grief journey uh, through Fernside. Stacy's legacy is so amazing with Fernside. She's truly a trailblazer. She started with a, the most terrible thing that's ever happened to somebody and she's made it into a positive thing. Some of my biggest inspiration was just that this was always accepted in our house that you should volunteer. And so, you know, from my dad to his father, um, everybody has always volunteered um, and done something and to help the community, you know. It's always been instilled in me and my sister uh, to volunteer. My sister went into the Peace Corps. Um, yeah, so we just kind of have that, uh, we were raised that way and I think it's a, it's a good way to be raised. <laughs> I will be toasting Stacy and saying cheers to her for all of her generosity and all of the people that I know she's been able to touch through all of her volunteerism and all of the people that she just made their lives a little better. One little glass sometimes at a time. So cheers to Stacy. Stacy, what you do means so much to Fernside. It means so much to us at the Bethesda Foundation. It means so much to so many organizations through your work with the Cincinnati International Wine Festival. You're inspirational to our volunteers. You're inspirational to our staff. You're just fantastic.